Good evening, guys. Um, it's it's been a while. So it's been about like eight days or something since I've done a stream. Um, it's because I've been I've been kind of ill, um, but I feel much better now. I'm not sure if it's was if it was cold or flu, but anyway, I have no idea what it was. I'm back, and we are gonna be starting with something that I previous something that I promised you. Um, quite some time ago, actually, which is keyboard shortcuts in IntelliJ. So, um, we've come to this when we were talking about how difficult it was to like open Windows vertically because there was no assigned default keyboard shortcut in IntelliJ. So let's open the home page. Oh, that, okay, that's that's a very good example actually. Let's open these two files, right? And if I want to split the screen vertically. Um, just on the left I want this and on the right I want this I have to I have to right click this and I have to uh, I have to uh, click split vertically right and this goes on the right this goes the other one is on the left and I was basically complaining about there was no no keyboard shortcut on how to do this but but it turns out what we could do is we can add our own so you go to preferences IntelliJ Idea preferences and then you go to key map and in here you go and search for split Vertically, well, I've assigned the keyboard shortcut for myself. It is uh, Control Alt V now. So let me just add it um, so you can see. I'm gonna tap Control Alt and V. I'm gonna click OK. Let's remove this one and I'll add it for you once more. Add keyboard shortcut. I'm, I just want this to be the next letter. Um, so this is it's it's going to complain that command alt uh, sorry control alt v is assigned to split vertically and i'm going to do command alt b i'm going to i'm pro this i'm probably going to regret this decision because these these two keys are like uh they are next to each other and i have a tendency to just mistype but anyway so this is how you do it so if if this was open in that tab and now what i could do is i can do control alt v and it's going to split them vertically and this is how you do the thing. There's one more thing that one of my colleagues in my previous workspace taught me. There's a plugin called Key Promoter. And in my next streams, in all of my next streams, I will be using this plugin. What this plugin does, also there are two versions of this. This is the le less annoying one. This is the more annoying one. Uh, by less and more annoying, I'll show you what I mean. So this plugin, each time you don't use a keyboard shortcut, it just um, it just tells you off. Basically, it says, "Hey, you pressed this key x times, but you have you could have used the keyboard shortcut." So let me show you how this works. Yeah, we'll do the update later. That's fine. Um, and I hope it works. But when I click the run button, it's it's probably going to complain. See. It says use Control R, and when I click Stop, it's gonna say use Command F2 to stop. So the other version, Key Promoter X, which is the newer version, just puts a notification in here. But I like this version better because I think this is more annoying. And if it's more annoying, then it will probably push. See, I could have used that. I don't know what that means, but I'll figure it out at some point eventually, right? Um, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna force myself to use keyboard shortcuts so I can be faster and more effective and more efficient. So this is how you how you assign keyboard shortcuts in IntelliJ, and this is the one of this is probably one of the key, best plugins that you can ever find. This is Key Promoter, and there you go. I hope you like this, and I hope this is useful for you. And I will be coming back with another stream very shortly. All right, see you. Bye.